Hey guys, even here, Tampa Pro just happened, prejudging is over, and this was your top 4. So, of course, we all had Ian Wallier in that top, top call out, uh, and potentially probably winning the show. Then we also thought Charles Griffin may challenge him for the second, or at least be in that top 3. And some had Max Charles in there, also better than, uh, than Charles Griffin, but who the hell is this guy in between Ian and Max? His name is Philip Clayhart, and I couldn't find him on Instagram, I don't know if he even has IG, if he has, guys, uh, shoot me a DM, send me this guy, because even though in this pose, if you haven't watched the live stream, uh, you might think he doesn't deserve to be right here, but he does, he does, not only because he is probably the most conditioned guy right here, but also because his back is just ridiculous. Good thing Ian improved his back, if he didn't he would be in a lot of trouble. Charles Griffin on the end right there, you can see he's hard, he's, he's shredded and everything, hamstrings, quads, everywhere really, aside from glutes. He doesn't have those, uh, those the stri striations, those lines on the glutes for some reason. I think he had them before, I, th I don't think he's lean enough this year. Uh, Max Charles, awesome, but... I don't think he's gonna be in the top three, I think he's fourth right here. I think Ian is winning it. And this, this new guy, Philip Clayhart, I think he might be second. So as you can see, he is shredded, basically. He, he is really lean and he's hard and he looks amazing. The midsection, bad, legs pretty small, no hamstrings. Uh, side poses really showcase that. His legs from the side don't look big, neither they do from the front, but... When he turns around, it's lights out, he's destroying everybody. He has a back like freaking Ronnie Coleman, just smaller. So it's a really freaking good back, he reminds me of Joel Stubbs overall, he, he also has smaller legs like Joel and, and really good back, so this is kind of a, a new version of Joel Stubbs. Charles Griffin did bring conditioning, he did come very very hard, very very full and everything he picked properly, I just don't think he shredded his glutes enough. I don't think they, they were separated as they, as they can be, and look at the back, back is just absolutely insane, but the glutes are, I think, holding on to a layer of, I don't think it's water, it might be fat, I think that's his stubborn body part and he wasn't able to cut all the fat out of it. Ian, Ian brought conditioning, yes, and he improved in a lot of poses, his back is better, chest looks a little bit fuller, lats from the front came up big time, you're gonna see that in the front double bicep and the lats spread, he really brought that, you're gonna see that in the comparison mainly, and he's conditioned, and he's full, and I think he's winning this show, I think he's a clear winner, I think uh, Charles Griffin and this new guy Philip Clayhart are destroying him in the back department, but not really, it's not enough, it's not enough, from the front, from the sides, he is crushing them, they have a lot of weaknesses, a lot of flaws, so overall I think he's... Uh, pretty pretty firmly in, in that top spot, yes. So look at Ian's lats, they came up big time, he really added the width, but Charles Griffin looks really wide as well, and, and his midsection is not very good, it's not good, he's blocky and just uh, the abs are not looking nice, it's really hurting him a lot. Max Charles it looks amazing, but he's not aggressive enough, he's not asserting himself enough, he's standing there on the side, nobody can see him. Look at Ian in the side chest, it looks... Dominant. It looks like a winning side chest. Now they turn around and now Philip Clayhart is uh, destroying everybody with his perfect back basically, but because of the size of his legs and the overall front, the, for all the front poses and the side poses basically, Ian is beating him and Ian definitely improved the back, it does look much better. Uh, Ian is not a perfect bodybuilder either, he has a lot of flaws, a lot of gaps in his poses, but uh, I think he is a clear winner here. Uh, so here you can see the back difference, both of these guys not Max Charles, but both of these guys on the right do have better back than Ian, but they are not annihilating him completely. Last year that probably would have been the case, but this year I don't think so, Ian actually improved his back quite a bit. Now the side tricep, now this is where, where Ian dominates and where he kills Philip Clayhart. So he cannot compete with this, with his side lag and with his thickness overall. I think Ian had a little bit of an issue controlling his midsection this time around. He's known for a small waist, but I think it was a little distended. Maybe he carved up too heavily, maybe he pushed uh, too much food in the offseason and it got a little bit distended. But overall he has a small waist, he does, but I think he was struggling a little bit. This is not a good pose for Ian or Charles Griffin, no, no, but these other guys, they, they, they look better in the absent eyes because they are a little bit, uh, I don't think they are, uh, Philip is a little bit lighter, but Max is enormous, but he does have a pretty midsection and, and uh, most muscular, I think Ian is taking this one with Max, Max is also looking good, so 
You guys tell me who's gonna be second. I think Ian is gonna win this show, but as far as second, it could be any of these guys. Uh, Max looks amazing in a couple of poses, but I think the other two guys are probably better, and it's not a coincidence that Philip Clayhart is in the middle right next to Ian, so I think he's having the best chances to take the, the second spot, Charles Griffin to be third, and uh, Max Charles to be fourth, but I didn't see this in person live, so I can't really comment too much based on the live stream, but based on the way the judges are moving them, that's my guess. You guys tell me what do you think in the comment section down below, I will inform you as far as the results as soon as it happens, so stay tuned, subscribe, thank you so much for watching, all the best guys and bye bye.